right, so I've said my goodbyes to my family. Two cousins were missing. I got to say bye to one of them. The other one, the youngest one, I didn't have a chance to. The one you guys saw in the video from last time. But anyway, I'm so happy. I made it through security. Like, check out all my stuff here. Hold on. I have like a big ass bag, my suitcase, my book bag, my jacket, a bag of fruit and stuff. And I got through security with all of that. And because my suitcases weighed too, too much. Like, both of them were 23 kilos each, about 50 kilos. Oh my god, look at my arm. Ugh. Anyway, um, so they were both, like, maxed out. I think I went a little bit over the, the weight thing, but the lady didn't say anything to me. She was really nice to me. And um, then when I went through security, like, everyone was so nice. I love Belgium. The Belgians are so nice. They're, like, the nicest people ever, I think. Um, after Danish people. Danish people are like super friendly, super awesome. Um, but anyway, so the lady at security, she was really nice and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I have so much stuff because I, you know, there's like the terrorist stuff here. Um, so you have to take out like your laptop and um, you have to like literally take it out of your bag and your makeup bag or whatever other like toiletries. So I had to take all of that stuff out and I was like, oh, I'm sorry for holding you up. She's like, no, it's okay. Take your time. I see that you're alone. It's all right and then when I went through security like all of my stuff passed through the thing except for my purse it has like all of my food items that I'm taking because I don't know where to find a lot of them in Peru so um, the guy was like oh can I check it I was like yeah yeah of course go ahead and I was like oh please don't take my food away I don't know how to find some of these things in Peru he was like no it's okay everything's okay no liquids you're good to go and I was like oh thank you Jesus and like I got through it so like I hope I don't ruin this for anyone like I hope no airlines watch this but I think I'm carrying like an extra, I don't know, 50 kilo, 50 pounds or uh, 46 kilos with me, like through my carry-on stuff or whatever. I'm gonna be sneaky. Shh, don't tell anyone. And also, I'm wearing five pairs of pants. Yeah, five pairs of pants. So I look like I, I got a nice booty right now. But anyway, I'm wearing five pairs of pants. I'm wearing like I don't know, four shirts or whatever. And I'm sweating like a pig. Thank goodness I put on deodorant today, because um, I forget a lot of these, a lot of times these days. So I'm just gonna sit here, eat my fruit, cool down, wait so I can board my flight, and uh, then I'll be on my way to Madrid before heading to Lima. I'm so excited! Whew, I'm ready to get back to Peru and uh, see what awaits me. Okay, time to board my flight. I think I'm gonna start heading over to the thing, or they just told us to head over to the gate. They didn't say anything about boarding, but I'm going anyway. landed in Madrid and a really nice Brazilian lady sat next to me so I got to practice my Portuguese with her and talk to her a little throughout the during the flight um, and I landed in Madrid but accidentally went the wrong way <laughs> and um, because my my uh, carry-on suitcase was too big for the overhead compartment so they had to put it at the bottom with all of like the big luggage things um, but they did it free of charge which is awesome because uh, that uh, suitcase probably had like 10 kilos more than it should have <laughs> and um, so anyway I got kind of lost it went the wrong way um, and then I found my way back I snuck back in to the luggage reclaim area so now I'm just waiting for my suitcase because that carry on the small one I had to pick it up here before I can go to the next gate and wait for my next flight and the other two big suitcases they're gonna just automatically be transferred to my next flight um, but this small one no so anyway um, yeah it's been okay so far um, had a nice flight really really chill 
and I'm excited because now I'm like officially going back to Peru. All right, it's 10.06. My flight arrived at like 20 past nine or something. And um, because my uh, carry-on suitcase thing um, was tra was on the bottom thingy-majiggy and I had to go get it from the conveyor belt, I had to um, go back through security to get back in. And that was a bit annoying because I had to take my laptop out again. I had to take my shoes off this time. And I had to, to like take my makeup bag and toiletries out again. But luckily, like they let me pass. It was okay. And then I went through customs. And I'm so happy I speak Spanish. Like, you know, it's always great knowing the language in the country that you're going to be in or transiting through. Because any questions you have, like I was, you know, trying to get back to my my carry-on suitcase and I was a bit lost and I didn't know where I was going so I asked for directions from airport employees and they helped me um, get to my suitcase and stuff so it, it just really comes in handy knowing a little bit of the language where you're going um, and anyway I went through customs I'm waiting outside my gate my flight doesn't leave for another two hours so I'm just gonna sit here and uh, read until I have to go and um, yeah, that's about it. I'm really, really hot. Thank goodness I put deodorant on because I'm sweating up a storm. Y'all don't even know. Anyway, I see a lot of my Peruvian peeps around me. Like, everyone's going back to Peru for the holidays. <laughs> and yeah, alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll show you more of uh, my, tri my trip. Oh my god, the line to board got so long all of a sudden. Hold on a second. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the people in front of me had like a shitload of panetones. Panetones is like this typical bread thing that we eat during the the winter holidays. I'll talk about it in some other video, but I was just thinking like, why are you taking paneton to Peru? Like we have better paneton there, so I don't understand. And it's probably a little bit cheaper in Peru than it is here, but anyway, it didn't make sense. Random thought. So I think I made a mistake and accidentally covered the mic here. Um, but basically I was just saying I didn't want to wake up the guy sitting next to me um, because I really wanted to go to the bathroom to take off some of my pairs of jeans. And um, I was just waiting for him to wake up so I could, you know, be like, hey, now that you're awake, can I go to the bathroom? But anyway, basically in the section I show you guys the immigration form, the customs form. That's the TAM card that I mentioned in a previous video. And the top part is what they keep when you go through immigration. Um, and then the bottom part is what you get to keep uh, showing that you came into the country and stuff. That's really important for you to leave. And um, the other form is the uh, customs form. Here we call it aduanas. And uh, that's the other one right there. And you just basically have to declare like certain things that are valuable or whatever it tells you on the form but I got mine in Spanish and I forgot to ask if there's one in English that they could have given me uh, I'll have to look into that but um yeah you just turn that in when you go through customs get your suitcases and stuff and I can't remember what else I said in this so that's it <laughs>
had to wait like 35 minutes to get my suitcases. I didn't think they were coming out. And the customs thing here is out of control. Like, it is so disorganized. It's crazy. And my taxi driver's waiting on me, so the longer I take, the more I'm gonna have to pay, which sucks, but whatever. Finally found my taxi driver, kind of pissed off because he told me something over the freaking email that he was going to wait for me in the parking lot and then I was in the parking lot looking for him, I couldn't find him and I didn't have his number and I had to call my grandma and my grandma was trying to give me the number of the phone and I didn't have anything to write with and yeah, I'm just ranting right now, I'm really like irritated and it's hot outside and anyway, I went back inside and I found him. So now I'm just waiting for him to get through that long ass line to pay for the parking, uh, whatever parking so he can take me to my grandma's yeah well at least I'm finally in Peru I got here safe and sound all my stuff is here fortunately so yeah I can't be too upset now can I or can't I <laughs> I don't know I'm tired now I decided I'm gonna rant a little bit more yeah I'm also upset because like I asked my taxi driver to be here at 7 because my flight was they landed at 6, 6, 10, 6, 20. So I thought, oh yeah, by the time I get through customs and everything, it should be 7 o'clock or so. And so, customs was a fucking mess. Like, it was all crazy all over the place. It took forever. My suitcases took over half an hour to come out onto the conveyor belt. And um, so anyway, I um, emailed my taxi driver before I left Madrid and told him to come at 7.30 instead because we left 30 minutes late as well from Madrid. And um, so now it's like almost 8.30 in the morning and he's charging me three soles per 10 minutes that he waits on me. Um, so I don't know how much I'm gonna end up paying. Like I'm gonna have to pay way more than I usually do. And the only reason I'm taking a private taxi this time is because I'm all alone. I don't have a family member here to come and get me. So, and I have all of this like crap. I'll show you guys in a second. But I have all of this crap and it's way too risky for me to try to go out to the street and get a public taxi. Um, all alone because it, it's a little bit riskier so I'm gonna have to pay a boatload of money. Oh, here's my taxi driver. So I am back in Lima looking a hot mess, whatever. It's really, really hot here. Um, my aunt told me that it really started getting hot yesterday. She was like, oh, you brought the heat with you. I was like, oh my God. Peru wanted to give me a nice warm welcome, literally. Um, so anyway, I'm here with my grandparents. I've uh, unpacked a few things. I've had something to eat, but that's basically it. I'm in Lima now and I hope to have videos uh, soon for you guys on actual stuff about Peru and um, yeah I'm working on a million different projects so thanks for watching this video for listening to me rant a little bit earlier and uh, yeah if you uh, are excited about the future videos I have coming up next year then uh, so don't forget to subscribe so you can watch them um, if you liked this video uh, please give this video a thumbs up or a like and if you have any comments you want to share with me, then don't forget to write them down in the comment section below. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks again, you guys. Bye.